Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I know it's been a couple of weeks since the last upload. If you did not see my community post on YouTube, or if you don't follow me on Twitter, or if you don't follow me on Twitch, basically I was, I've been busy with taxes, IRL stuff. It's been tax season. My wife and I are both self-employed. We procrastinated and put off our taxes until like the last possible minute. And doing taxes when you're self-employed is super, super involved compared to people who just work a traditional job where they work, you know, like a nine to five or whatever, because you have to re basically report all of your income and like it is this whole thing. And it was uh, worse this year than normal because we decided to file online due to the whole health crisis stuff that's going on. Long story short, I've been buried in that for like two weeks, <laughs> but it's done now. They're finally finished. It's over. I don't have to deal with it again until next year. <laughs> so we're back on the Hermitcraft server and it's great. I'm excited. Um, so, I have some big plans. I haven't been completely absent from the server, I've just been mostly absent, uh, because I've been working on little things here and there, and I think it is time for us to start working towards opening up Wells Mart, our general purpose store. I think it's going to be really good. Um, also, because it's been a couple of weeks, I did record the election, um, the, the voting, my vote, who won the election, etc. But at this point, I think most of you have probably already seen that. So for anyone who doesn't, uh, who hasn't, go watch like literally any other Hermit's video from that time period. <laughs> um, but I will summarize. Spoiler, if you are unaware, um, Scar won the election. <laughs> Ta-da! So Scar is our new mayor, and I voted for stress. Uh, because out of the available candidates, she was the one that I thought was uh, was the best option. When I've already talked about why um, why I think Stress was the best candidate, even though I, I gotta admit, none of the candidates were like 100% absolutely completely perfect in in my opinion, uh, as far as the the platforms they were running on or lack thereof. <laughs> Also, I should probably mention, uh, we are now in 1.16.1, which means I've bothered to go get Optifine and Dramatic Skies for a texture pack. So now I can zoom and we, we can, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me jump into some things. We have much to do. This is going to be kind of a weird episode because like parts of it have been recorded in the past before this intro. Parts have been have been recorded afterwards. It's going to be an adventure. <laughs> Let's actually check the profits on the leather shop and just see if we've sold anything. OK, so we're, we're getting some sales. It's not a ton, but, you know, three diamonds is three diamonds. I'll take it now. It, it, again, this is a temporary shop until I eventually build Wells Mart which will be a much, much larger shop and take up a lot more space. I gotta figure out where I'm even gonna put it. <laughs> we may have to build out onto the water um, out here because I don't think there's actually enough space anywhere in what's left of the shopping district, unless maybe I build over here. There is a fair amount of space over here that doesn't, I, I don't think it's been claimed. So we could maybe put it over there. But either way, we've got our first profits from the leather shop. We're actually making diamonds. Well, we're back at the base, and after watching a bunch of the Hermit's videos that came out on 1.16 launch day, I can say with probably 99% confidence that I was the first Hermit to have full netherite gear. There were some other Hermits who got full netherite gear for that first episode, but we actually updated to release candidate one, which is what we're still on, uh, on Monday, and then 1.16 officially launched on Tuesday. And I got full netherite Monday evening, a couple hours after the, uh, the group event was recorded, and some of the other Hermits who did get full netherite uh, got it the next morning. So I'm fairly sure. I, I haven't 
been able to watch every single video from every single hermit because it's a lot of a, a lot of videos. Um, but I'm barely confident. However, we forgot one very important tool: the hoe. Hoes are no longer a meme. They're actually a, an important thing now. Who would have thunk it? So uh, let's see, we're gonna put mending on this. We're gonna end up putting, I should have gotten unbreaking and efficiency while I was uh, in the shopping district, but either way, they're actually a thing now that matters. So we're gonna make ourselves a netherite hoe. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying those words, but here you go, netherite hoe. And we got a challenge, serious dedication, Use a netherite ingot to upgrade a hoe, then reevaluate your life choices. Mojang, you chose to make <laughs> Joe. <laughs> you chose to make hoes no longer irrelevant. So, I mean, why are you saying reevaluate my life choices? Um, knights. Oh. Okay. <laughs> ah, demonetized. Hey, Wells. Hey, Beef. Oh, look at you. You're looking all dapper and stuff. How you doing? I'm doing Wells. <laughs> oh, I see what you do. Clever. Clever. You're a funny dude. Um... I, I've come to ask you for a little bit of a... I feel... Whoa, this this feels like I'm approaching, like, this, some sort of uh, royal uh, royalty, really. I mean, I'm walking down this carpet, and you're standing at, like, a, a pew, and I don't know what's going on. Looking down at the, the peasants beneath me. Yeah, the common folk. Should I be <laughs> kneeling for this, or...? <laughs> I mean, maybe. This is kind of the intent. Kneel. It's it's about, um, you know, intimidation. And I, I am definitely <laughs> intimidated. Um, I have come to you uh, to request something. W what would you like? What do you need? Well, here's the thing. I, I need I need leather, okay? And I know you operate that nice little leather stand at the shopping district, but I need I need like a shulker box full of leather. And I'm wondering if maybe maybe you could perhaps possibly cut me a little bit of a deal. Uh, instead of paying full price for that much leather, I think that could be arranged. I think that okay. would, I think that's uh, that's doable. And, um, you, and you have a shulker box full of leather. Filling? I I don't have one sitting around at the moment. Okay. Um, so okay. I'll, it'll I'll, it'll take me probably a a day or two to get it all. Gotcha. You know. Okay. Together yeah. and stuff because I I'm pretty much all. I think I might have like one extra stack of leather that isn't in the shop right now. Okay. But uh, I need to I need to rebreed all the livestock and, and all oh, that yeah. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking, so so it's priced right now at a diamond per half stack. Per 32, correct, yes. So one shulker box of, mm -hmm. of, of full stacks would end up being like 54 diamonds. Right, because it would be 27 diamonds and then times two, absolutely, yeah. yes, 54 diamonds. So I'm thinking for you, because you're a neighbor and a good friend and you're you're very dear to me, um, yes. I will cut you a deal of one diamond per 48. One diamond per 48. I so, mean, so that round, it's like a 70, it's like a 25% discount. 25%. I mean, that's pretty generous, Mr. Knight. Um, well, what would the total come to? It would, like it would round to, I mean, it, it, we'd have to round it, but it would round to, we'll just call it 40 diamonds. I'll, even round, diamonds I'll even round down. Wow. You know what? Y you've got a deal. Handshake. It's that simple. Handshake. <laughs> Punch me in the face. Um, awesome. 40. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pay you right now. Excellent. Sounds because good. Because, uh, you know, uh, you showed faith in me when it went. When uh, when you paid me for the piano, even though I didn't build it. I honestly don't know who built that piano. I have no idea, but it looks great. Um, here's 40 whole diamonds. Excellent. There we go. And, um, yeah, and I guess I, just leave. Whenever you got it, just leave it in my base somewhere. You know where I live. Yep. Sounds good. I'll just leave you a chest over there with the sign on it. I'll probably put it in your, uh, I think it, your storage room is pretty clearly yeah. marked. I'll yeah, just leave it, you a little chest in there. Um, it'll probably, it, it's going to take a couple days because I got to, no I said, I got to breed up all the cows and all that kind of yep. stuff. But yep. Uh, yep. thank you so much. You're the best neighbor ever. Sounds good. 
Pleasure doing Ooh. business with you, Beef. Later, dude. Pleasure doing business with you again. Leather delivery complete. Just leaving it here at his base. I'll put a sign on it, and I'll shoot him a message on Discord to let him know it's there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have some bad news. I died. And it wasn't just a death. I died and lost everything. I was mining, uh, doing some caving during a Hermitcraft livestream day. And I got blown up by a creeper. And unfortunately, I had my valuables chest in my inventory because I was about to put it down, my yellow one. This is a new yellow one right here. So I lost everything that was in that, and I lost all of my armor and tools and stuff as well because it despawned before I could get to it. Which really stinks. Altogether, I lost about 20 diamond blocks. I lost a full set of netherite tools and armor, my elytra, essentially everything that I had for the most part. However, there were a couple saving graces, so to speak. I did have about 20 diamonds in a shulker box from the mining session, in a, in a different shulker box. I had, um, I think, 12 diamonds in, in this diamond chest. So I had like half a stack of diamonds to get started. And I do have a bunch of ancient debris uh, that I've already collected. So that won't be the part that's a slog. But it's going to take me some time to kind of get back to where I was, which is just, ah, uh, it's the worst. Losing everything is just the worst. But it is what it is. It's part of the game. You know, I mean, mistakes were made. I guess I should have been wearing my uh, chest plate while I was caving. That, you know, rookie mistake, I guess. Or maybe overconfidence. Overconfidence will be the death of you. But anyway... I have a whole lot of mining and stuff to do to get back to where I was, so we can continue working on projects this episode. Let me get back to it. Well, after some very major grinding, I think I am mostly back to where I was. I've got uh, full netherite tools and everything. I don't have a netherite hoe. I lost my hoe, but we'll make another one at some point. Um, and I'm missing, obviously, a bunch of diamonds. I had like 20 diamond blocks and now I have 44 diamonds to my name and I lost my beacon which is why we are here so I believe this is B-dubs and XB uh in the this is a new shop they sell beacons uh a, and uh one diamond block each and I think that's pretty reasonable so actually you know what I gotta go make this is there a crafting bench in here somewhere it doesn't look like it that's all right there's one right here Let's just make a diamond block real fast. And there we go. We have ourselves a beacon now. And I'm thinking I may be able to use this to get diamonds a bit faster. I'm going to do a little beacon mining in a while uh, off camera. I do, however, need some more iron blocks as well. And I'm pretty sure the ugly torch is gone. So I can't trade redstone for iron anymore. I guess that means I have to go over here to the iron shop and get iron blocks here. Let's just pop up. There we go. Iron, three diamonds for 32 blocks. After a small mining session, I think I finally have enough diamonds to get everything I need and to purchase the plot of land for the shop that I want to build. I'm here at the Ender Ender repairing my tools and I decided that while I was at it, while I'm here anyway, I'm gonna make a backup set of gear because losing all of my stuff actually set this video back by about two or three days. 
<laughs> so, yeah, it was a pretty big loss, uh, not just in the actual stuff that I lost, the, you know, the, the items themselves, but also just in time. So I think it would be good to kind of think ahead and prepare, because I'm sure that won't be the last time we die over the course of the season, and I'm sure it won't be the last time we lose all of our stuff. It's part of the game. These things do happen. Uh, so I've got another set of gear here ready to go. I don't think I'm going to make it netherite right off the bat. Um, because the diamond gear does still work perfectly fine. It's not quite as good, but it's very, very close. So I'm just going to make another set of diamond enchanted gear, have it as a backup in case I die again. A few endermen later, and we have a full set of enchanted backup gear in case I die again in the future. I also remade our hoe, which I am going to be converting into a netherite hoe so that we do have a complete full set, uh, just like we did before we died. So, very good, and I've turned off the Enderman farm and all that kind of good stuff. Now, Cub has apparently created a new mini-game, and he's getting a couple people together to play it, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna head over there and meet up with him and some other hermits, and we're gonna play a little bit of a mini-game together. Welcome everybody to the pyramid. Hello, hello. Hello. This is gorgeous. Hey man. How do thank you, Beef. How's You're it going? Not so bad How's it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of kelp, by the way. That's uh It really is. It's a lot of kelp. It really is. It was a struggle to get this much kelp, let me just say that. <laughs> I believe it. It was a lot. It was a lot. But uh we're here to play a game today, guys. We're here to play a game. I'm I'm game. I like Are you game? Is that. <laughs> Are you game? Are you game? Okay. All right. This I mean, is also very exciting. It's a very exciting time, guys, because this is an opening of a new a new area. Come come with me. Come with me. It's a new area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Tarjay. <laughs> oh, Tarjay. We're going wow, shopping. That's, that's like Sounds really elaborate. French, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. Guys, wait, it's wait. I can't. I, oh, I'm target. stuck. <laughs> Dumb. Well, <laughs> you're not allowed in my boat. Get out of here. Too late. Goodness. Just, just catching a ride. Yeah, so welcome Cheap to Tarjay, guys. This is the start of uh, <laughs> something incredible. Something incredible. <laughs> I'm excited. So Ooh. basically, this is going to be sort of like a target block heavy minigame area. And this is the first one. This is the first minigame right here. It's the first okay. one. So now where are you buying your target blocks, by the way? Because I have some great deals on wheat bales, hay bales, if you will. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could use uh -huh. some of those. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. There you go, a little advertising. Everybody else, so you're wow. also welcome to purchase some hay bales. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I want he's, to He's now. really just over here advertising his shops right now. You know I what? I see how it is. I see how it is. Yeah. You get one of those. <laughs> right in the knee. I know, I have right? my arrow back, please? <laughs> uh, I don't think you. it works that way. <laughs> so, basically, the way this game works, this game is called Bullseye, by the way. Bullseye. And, as you might suspect, the point of the game is to hit the bullseye. Hit the bullseye. And... Okay. Basically, the way you win, you hit the bullseye five times before everybody else. That's that's the gist of the game. I'm Sounds purple. Simple. Pretty pretty simple. So yeah, take take your slots. Take your slots. Okay, I think we're going to here. All right, all right, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go jungle. Uh, there's also a bow in the uh, in the chest if you want a non-flame bow. There's an infinity. What's the uh, distance bow. from the from the from the uh, the fence to the target? I think it's like 25 blocks or so. I was, I, I was gonna say this looks like a solid 25 block meter distance. And what's the windage today? <laughs> uh, <laughs> two two blocks per second out of the west. Yeah. Very technical term. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, allow it's me to windage, adjust. I'm gonna lick my finger and put it in the air. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So basically, the way we're gonna do this, guys, uh, we're gonna have three rounds to qualify. Don't shoot the, the target, dude. For the championship, okay. Three rounds to qualify. The winner of each round will sit out the next round. Is basically how we'll do it. So we'll have three people advance to the championship, and then the winner gets their name in the paper. Ooh. Oh, that, man. That's the prize. Name My time to shine. I can you'll be also famous. Win, you'll also win another right ingot if you if you win any round. Ooh. 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 Yeah. All right. All right. What else? What else? Keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all I got. That's all what I got. Else? Hey. All right, are you guys ready? I think uh, either XP or Joe will have to flick the lever. There'll be a slight delay, and then we can uh, we can start here. It has Stop been flicked. Second. 
Now you gotta hit the exact oh. middle. Pretty much the exact middle, yeah, yeah. Oh man. Oh, there we like go. Like I said, first to five. Three lamps light up per time. Oh man. I'm struggling. I'm gonna need you guys to get good, please. Aren't you oh, the cream on. of the crop? No. Oh, Spruce. Oh, who's come on! Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Easy mode. You guys Jeez. are terrible <laughs> at this game. Well, I just wanted good to like play God. another round. Okay, well, now I'm gonna take my spot upon my throne. Yep, Javin, here's your uh, here's your ingot. Bullseye. Ooh, let's Champion. go. Excellent. Another right ingot. Whoa, right. those are per round. Wow. Oh, yeah. I thought that was like the grand prize. Oh no, the grand prize is is paper. You get it, your name in the paper. You get your paper written by you. So do we uh, reset so, it with this lever here? Yep, turn it off and let... Yeah, I can I can do the lever this time so everybody has a chance to aim. Okay. Yep, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Oh, my gosh. All right, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Me too. You ready for me to flick it? Flick it. Three, do it. two, one, flick. <laughs> Gotta wait until the buzzer <laughs> or the bell. Oh, I don't know how the buzzer works. Oh! Uh-oh. Vince oh. Beef is in the lead. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Okay, Wells is on the board. There we go. Oh, well, uh, everybody else. Oh, Wells got a number two. Cub got a number two. Okay, okay. Joe's still not really doing that well. Yes, it's okay, on. Joe. We love you still. Yeah. If we are neck and neck. Oh, Beef takes. Oh, Wells and Beef. Who's going to take it? Oh, oh Wells got oh, it. Oh, well done, man. Well, well done. From behind. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Oh, it was that was a close one. Beef that was, was close. close. Wells, do you want to do the lever this time? I can do the lever. Where? Good. Oh, it's right wait, in front of you down there. Oh, yeah, well, right there. Here's, here's the uh, your ingot right there. Oh, I think I'll hold on to Jevons too if you need me to. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think I think take Kevin it from it. my bones. Where's this lever at? <laughs> you don't even know how to stand oh, on the, the oh, wait, platform. I see it. I see it. It's it's here. It's okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Three, two, one. Oh wait, we have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. his game, and he doesn't even know. Plus how to play another it. three, two, one. Okay, oh, Cubs in the lead. Go no Cub. Lead. Oh, that's way too high. Come on. First okay, two. XP's on the board. Beef's on the board. Cubs still in a lead. In a commanding Cub. lead. Oh. Cub is in a two a two arrow lead. Beef, Beef is closing behind. the gap. Uh -oh. XB. XB's catching up. XB XB's in the dialed lead. in. Is Look he gonna get that. it? He's oh! got it! Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> Finally. Behind win. Well done. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> All right, XP, there's your ingot, my friend. Woot. There you go. Bullseye champion ingot. I'm okay, up here with so. The I mean, what? <laughs> well done. Well done. Those are our champions. And now you guys compete for the ultimate prize. Get your name in the paper and another, another right ingot. Ooh. All right. I'm still purple. So, Joe, Joe, Beef, and me, we have to uh, sadly sit out this one. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Why do you guys need to flip the lever? We tried. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I can actually first talk. shot. I had pushed a talk on my mouse, and that was not helping me. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, looks like I oh, Will's pulls oh. ahead. XP's oh. right behind him. Oh, oh nailed it! Well, well, done. well, well, done. well, well. GG. Well done. Man, I can't Packs. talk crap now. Dang. Man. Well and done, well. Paper and everything other right there, my friend. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted my name and on a paper. That's that's all I want. I could have done that for you. <laughs> yeah, we, we can get you an anvil under the table. So, is there? Are we doing? Is that the? Is he the winner? Or are we GG. doing another round for the final two? <laughs> He's really. Well, no, yeah, I'm right. just curious. I wanted to know. <laughs> Little Wells is the winner. Oh, okay. is yeah. the winner. Good job, Wells. Good well, job. I think. GG, my friends. I call Good hacks. GG. Well done. <laughs> Well's done. No hacks. All skill. <laughs> all skill. All skill. Yeah. So that's it, guys. That's it. That's that's bullseye. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That was and, awesome. Uh, that was yeah, really fun. Was fun. Yeah, I'm trying to good. play it again. Let me know. Yeah, yeah. I'm feel free to practice when we these around. Yeah. 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah. beefs online shooting arrows at the targets <laughs> over and over again. Next time we play, five arrows, five shots. Oh, that's the way to do it. Definitely like yeah, to play again with you guys. You guys are down. It's yeah. one of those things, like, even if you get it dialed in, you still got to move because the, the arrows, you know, they just, the trajectory changes. Yeah, it's, it was, threw me off a little bit. Like, I didn't realize that you can fire in the exact same spot without moving your mouse and, you know, same pull on the bow and everything and actually hit different spots. Right. Like, I didn't know mm -hmm. that it, there was some variation there. Yeah, yeah. I learned right, a guys. thing. 
Well, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for playing. Thanks for and, having uh, us. Thanks for GG. hosting. Well, there we have it, my friends. I am officially the bullseye champion, the sharpshooter, the the accurate marksman of Hermitcraft. <laughs> it was actually a lot of fun. But, my friends, I think that's about all we have time for today. I was really hoping to get to Wellsmart today, but uh, honestly, it's been long enough without a video as it is, and I think... We're just going to push that back to next episode. I think next episode we will build Wells Mart uh, and hopefully open Wells Mart as well. But I'm going to call this one here so that you guys can actually have a Hermitcraft video for me and not think that I like dropped off the planet or I got like super burned out on Minecraft or something like that again. Because that's not the case. I've just been, as I said at the beginning of the episode, busy with IRL things and, you know, set back a little bit by getting blown up so there was that anyway guys if you enjoyed the video you know what to do links in the description below so check that out as well otherwise my friends thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one